Okay, guys, so um, just doing a over or dubbed over version of this video because I sort of uh, blabbered on a bit in it. Um, but anyway, this system here is the uh, vacuum system that runs from the ignition barrel to the diesel pump. And essentially what it does is as you turn off the key, it cuts off the, uh, the pump. Um, it's relevant for guys that, are, that don't already have a diesel car and essentially are going to put a diesel engine into a petrol car um, they'll need this system to be able to kill the uh, kill the pump at the end basically cut off the fuel and um, so there's, there's a there's a diesel cut off um, actuator on the top of the pump which I'll show you now in a second um, so the, the line I'm looking at on the left hand side is the brown feed line and essentially that runs off your boost vacuum to the uh, to the vacuum pump the pump is basically pulling pressure on it uh, all the time and when when the ignition is on and um, the the link between the two is cut off so essentially when you have the ignition on no air can pass through to that pump side uh, to that pump wire and um, but the vacuum is still there onto the back of the brake booster to give you that um, assisted braking um, and so when you turn off the key then uh, the air can pass through from that vacuum line straight through to the pump side and that essentially that sudden rush of vacuum pulls up on the actuator inside the uh, inside the diesel pump and cuts off the the fuel supply um, and essentially then the, 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 the engine has turned off. It, turn, it kills uh, the fuel supply, killing the engine. Um, so that's the, that's the, the crux of, of how the system works. Um, it's quite important. I've heard of people that actually don't even run it at all and manually cut off. They, I'm just pointing out the, um, the cutoff switch there, which is that piece on the top. Now, in that one, it's a, um, it's a metal piece, but it can oftentimes, I think the original is a, is a Bosch or a Delphi... Um, or sorry, Siemens, a uh, white plastic vacuum piece that sits on the top of it. Um, it's, anyway, it's, this is important for guys that are going to a petrol car. If you've got a diesel car, it won't be as relevant. And um, the petrol car uses electric cutoff, so it's, it doesn't have um, that facility already. So um, it looks like I have two options in my build. One is to, um, obviously I'll swap over the pipe that I'm looking at here. I'll swap over the black one for, for the, uh, so I have that T off in the one-way valve up higher. But it leaves me with two options for the final build. Either I swap the ignition barrels around and be stuck with a mix match of uh, keys, basically an ignition key and a lock key for the car, or I swap the locks at the same time and swap over all the locks just for a more um, smooth-looking uh, build. But I think I'll just leave it. Um, one key for the ignition barrel, one key for the car lock. Um, because I don't think there'll be any, 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 there'll be a totally separate ignition system. I don't think I'll have facilities for it on the petrol car already. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Um, again, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for helping me out. Uh, hopefully this video will help somebody out. Is just explaining it in, in minor detail how to, how the system works. Um, yeah, thanks. And uh, appreciate all the help I'm getting on Facebook. I'm just getting the information and I'm making videos to um, help other people out. So I'm learning as I go. So if I get anything wrong, please let me know. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Bye.